In this video, we are going to learn about extremum problems. This is the learning outcome. Stationary points are also called as critical points or turning points. It is a point on the curve y equals to fx when the first derivative or the dy dx equals to zero. There are two types of stationary point, the local maximum point and the local minimum point. There are two methods to determine the type of stationary points which are the first derivative test and the second derivative test. In this video, we will use first derivative test to determine the extremum point. In this test, we evaluate dy dx on both sides of stationary point. If dy dx is negative on the left of the point, and positive on the right of the point, then it is a minimum point. If dy dx is positive on the left side of the point and negative on the right, then it is a maximum point. In this question, we want to find the stationary points. So find dy dx first. Since stationary point is a point when dy dx is equals to zero, so substitute with the dy dx just now. Factorize it, then solve for x. These values of x are also called as critical numbers. Then find the value of y for each value of x. And then state the answer. In this example, we want to find stationary point and determine whether it is a maximum or minimum point by using first derivative test. We find the first derivative first, then equate it with 0 to find the value of x. After that, find the y value by substitute x equals to 2 into the equation and state the stationary point. Now use first derivative test to determine whether it is a maximum or minimum point. Since there is only one point, so we create a three rows, four columns table. The first column always filled with x, dy dx, and slope. Where x is the test value and dy dx represents the sign plus or minus when we substitute the test value. Then fill the third column with the critical number where the dy dx is equals to zero. Then we test on both sides of x equals to two. On the left side, we choose one to substitute into the dy dx and we get negative two. But we only write negative in the table. Then on the right side, choose 3 to substitute into the dy dx and we get positive 2. So the sign is positive. The negative sign means that the slope is negative. So the line is decreasing. dy dx equals to 0 means that it is a horizontal line. And positive sign means the slope is positive, so the line is increasing. From the shape of these lines, we can conclude that 2, 1 is a minimum point. In this example, we want to find stationary points and determine the nature of the points. The nature here means that whether it is a maximum or minimum point. So find the dy dx first, then equate it with 0. This expression can be factorized and solve for value of x. After that, find the values of y by substitute x equals to 0 and x equals to 4 into the equation. 
and state the stationary points. We use first derivative test to determine the nature. This time, create a three rows, six column table because there are two critical numbers. Then fill the critical numbers alternately with the empty columns where their value of dy dx is zero. On the left side of zero, we choose negative one. You can choose any other value, but make sure it is less than zero because it is on the left side of zero. So substitute negative one into the dy dx, we get positive 15. So the sign is positive. On the right side of zero, we had to choose value between 0 and 4. So we choose the easiest one to calculate which is 1. Substitute it into the dy dx, we get negative 9. So the sign is negative. This negative sign also is the sign on the left side of x equals to 4. On the right side of 4, we choose 5 to substitute into dy dx. And the value is positive 15. So the sign of dy dx is positive. For the slope, we draw the line based on the sign of dy dx. The first one is increasing, horizontal, decreasing, horizontal, and increasing again. From here, we can conclude that 0, 10 is a maximum point and 4 negative 22 is a minimum point. Please submit this exercise before class ended.